Hello everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Charlie Parker review. Today we're talking about The Wrath of Angels by John Connolly. I am so happy to be here. I am so happy to tell you that I loved this one. Absolutely loved it. It is a return to form for the Charlie Parker series. It is the best book in the series since The Unquiet, I believe. Um, or whatever the last good one that I read. That some of these men have just blurred together, especially, especially the last four. And I know some people were upset that I did short videos just saying that I couldn't remember the books for those books. But hey, the videos are up, man. What you gonna do? Um, this one follows Charlie Parker hunting a plane that is lost in the woods. Um, all of the stuff out there in the woods is amazing. All of every single scene in the woods. But also, this has probably the funniest interactions with Louie and Angel. I'm gonna start calling him Louie because in one of the books it does say that it is the uh, the French or the New Orleans pronunciation of Louis. So it's Louie. Um, Louie and Angel are, are amazing in this one. I had a lot of fun. There are some hilarious, hilarious scenes with these two. Um, one thing I will note, uh, that the thing, that I, this is a personal bias for me. Um, I, I read, I read, the, uh, my friend sent, this one doesn't have this, but I read an introduction a friend sent me from his copy. Uh, my friend Aaron Nash sent me the introduction from his copy where basically John Connolly says, you know what, we're going for the supernatural, deal with it kind of deal. And I love that. Um, he, he's like, I have no fucks given, here we go. So this one comes back to the supernatural hardcore. Um, there is a, a, a ghost in the woods, there is a, there's angels. There's all different kinds of stuff. And I'm not talking about, you know, wings and halos and all that stuff. I'm talking about some pretty gnarly creatures. Um, but, I, okay, you don't, you don't see them that way. There is one character reveal that uh, when, when you finally see this person through the eyes of Parker, uh, it was pretty creepy. Um, so I'm wondering if that's what these angels are supposed to look like. I don't know. Um, there, there's a depth here again there's a depth in all of the the Parker novels um, the writing is very literary it's very very pretty uh, language not maudlin not purple nothing like that but it is he, he's a damn damn good writer uh, the <laughs> the kills are great uh, there's one scene especially uh, I, I don't want to I don't want like I said I don't want to give too much away because it's a really good book and I want you to read it for yourself it is book 11 though so you got a ways to go, but the first, I would say, seven books are absolutely fantastic. Well, maybe not number two, but it's a sophomore effort, so what you going to do, right? Um, the, the stuff with uh, Darina Flores and the boy, uh, who I won't name because spoilers, uh, I, I really loved every single scene with them in it, but... At the end of the day, this book all comes down to the Collector. The Collector probably has the biggest role he has ever had in the series in this book. And I love the Collector. I am super excited to find out how this entity, this person, is going to, is going to, you know, what, what his role is going to be further on in the series. Um, I guess that's a spoiler, but maybe, I don't, I don't know, I apologize. I'll put a spoiler warning in, in this one because I've been talking about some things that, pro that you probably shouldn't know about. Uh, it does talk about the plane in here, but there is another place in the, the story. Since I'm going to put a spoiler warning on this, I'll go ahead and talk about this. The first time that the hikers come across the fort in the woods creeped me the fuck out. It is one of those, it's one of those things, man, where it was so well, de so well described that I was like, Man, um, I could see it perfectly in my head, and when Parker and crew actually gets there, there's some even weirder shit in there, and the person who is living there, I, I feel, was absolutely terrifying. He was, he, it was terrifying in a simple way, it's like when someone is evil and doesn't know that they are evil or possessed and don't know that they are possessed, not that that's the case, but 
that's that that's how I felt. It's like th this person wasn't really in control of themselves, and the physical description was super super creepy. Anyway, so I'm very happy to announce I'm giving this one a full five stars. We are back on track. I'm excited to get to the rest of the series. I will be stopping the series to. Uh, read an ARC of the Dirty South, so you can expect that next. The reason why is the Dirty South is a prequel that happens even before every dead thing. Um, so I'm going to be starting that one tonight. Um, when I get that one done, of course, I will review that one also. But have you read The Wrath of Angels? If you have, let me know what you thought down there in the doobly-doo, whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it. Uh, please explain why, if either one of those things, even if you feel meh, tell me why you felt that way so we can have a, a discussion about it. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!